name is Joseph Boshin Wam. I came from China. This is my first public talk and I will be talking in English. When I came to London with my parents in August 2015, I couldn't speak English. But I had to go to a primary school in London taught in English. It was totally foreign to me. I like talking. My mom always worries that I'm too talkative, that one day she said to me, since you're so talkative, why don't you try a TEDx talk? <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a great idea. So I said, yes. <laughs> My experience tells me that if I give it a go bravely, and practice with determination, things work pretty well, actually. It's not as hard as you think. When I started to go to school in London and learn English, it was hard because I couldn't say what I wanted to say. Once there was assembly, there were four musicians visiting our school, and one of them asked a question. Why does piano have black keys and white keys too? I knew the answer, <laughs> and I desperately wanted to tell her. So I stood up and hear myself mumbling, uh, uh, sorry, I'm not good at English. It feels so bad when you knew her, but can't say it out loud. Although it was embarrassing, my teacher said that she was really impressed at my bravery and encouraged me to try again. I think there were two kinds of bravery. One kind is when you do something really risky, saying, jumping from somewhere high, or rushing to fire to save life. The second kind is no imminent danger or harm. But you challenge yourself. You do something that you think that you can't do. I'm talking about the second kind of bravery. It's about having confidence to overcome self-doubt. I would tell those who think they can't do something to try. Do not panic. It's okay to fail. Learn from your mistakes. When I started to learn English so that I can say what I wanted to say, I try hard to make more friends. I start her by only say hello to them. Eventually I learn more words so that I can have a better conversation with them. Books are my friends too. When there's no one to talk to, start her from picture books with a few words and then try fewer words with a fewer pictures with more words. And of course, thanks to all the teachers in my school, they help me a lot and always listen to me with patience. They always make me feel that everything is within my reach to achieve. And I really made a little bit progress day by day. It's not easy, but it's not hard when you really try. In my school, everyone have an opportunity to learn an instrument. I was given a violin, which is supposed to be the hardest instrument to play. In China, I learned piano for a few years, but I had no idea about violin. Fortunately, most of my classmates we're beginners too, and we have a violin class once a week. 
This was amazing. For one hour a week, we were all at the same level, no matter what language we spoke. In China, people always say that when a beginner plays violin, it sounds like killing a rooster. <laughs> But I like the sound it makes. I was being able to join the Wide Opportunity Band in Camden Music Lake Festival, and then something amazing happened. After many rehearsals, we performed. At the magnificent Raw Alba Hall, I like to show you the record of our performance. Every kid deserves an opportunity. To have a try. Although we're just beginners, when you see two thousand beginners playing music together, it can be amazing and the start of a beautiful thing. So I hope all of you can also be brave and try something new. It can be scary, but it's not as hard as you think. Thank you.